Ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, of course, before we start the video, as always, we got a couple of headlines in NFL free agency to go over. There are three really, really big signings, in my opinion, on this day. And then, of course, on Wednesday, we're going to break it down in a full video coming on Wednesday. It's going to be a very, very long video, in my opinion. It's obviously going to be long. There's a lot of headlines that we got to talk about. But three really big headlines today. Number one. Originally, I was not going to wear this jersey because, again, I was waiting on the Panthers to splash for somebody like they did now. And, of course, we finally have that splash, or at least for now, until we trade for T. Higgins, of course. But the first headline of the day is, if you guys have not heard already, the Carolina Panthers agree to a $100, year, or $100 million deal with offensive lineman Robert Hunt from the Miami Dolphins free agency. And this is, of course, over five years. That gives us plenty of protection for, of course, Bryce. That is great. Obviously, we need that protection, but we also got to go get him out and go get him some weapons. We still need to sign a center for real. That's what we got to sign. But two other headlines, and then we'll start off with our predictions. Number one, Kurt Cousins going to Atlanta. That is very crazy. He's on a four-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons, obviously. If you guys did not see that, that was great to hear. DeAndre Swift going to the Philadelphia Eagles. And then the last one, big one of the day, is Saquon Barkley going to, of course, the Philadelphia Eagles. One more before we head into this video, and this video's intro is going to be a little bit longer. Of course, if you guys did not see another breaking news, Josh Jacobs going to the Green Bay Packers. That is very interesting, and we'll talk about that on Wednesday. So hit that sub button so you don't miss out on all of that latest videos. But let's go ahead and hop into our SEC Men's Basketball Tournament predictions. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you my bracket in a minute. Obviously, I'm going to have that blurred out so you guys do not get to see my answers to these games that I'm about to predict. But we're going to go round by round here and then, of course, go winner by winner if you guys know what I'm saying. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right in to obviously these SEC men's basketball predictions. Number one with the first round being on Wednesday, March 13th. The number one game is Vanderbilt, Arkansas. I'm going Arkansas here. I know Vanderbilt just upset Florida on Saturday, but again, I've got Arkansas on this one. They're going to play South Carolina in this one as well. This video is going to be one video compacted all together, and then of course we will go at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and go to the other game, the 14-11 game, which is Missouri going into Georgia. I'm going to go Georgia here. They're far out the better team. Missouri obviously not winning a conference game shows that. So I'm going to go with the Missouri Tigers here in this one. Now, moving on to the second round on Thursday. The first game of the second round, in fact, is Mississippi State going into LSU. Now, this game is very interesting. Number one, I could see... Mississippi State upsetting LSU in this game. That is not an issue for me. What is, is the way the LSU Tigers play defense. They have to play defense if they're going to win this game. That Hubbard guy for Mississippi State is no joke. He can score the ball. He can shoot from anywhere. We saw against Kentucky. I saw it in person against Auburn. He, again, can shoot. So I'm not going to be shocked here if Mississippi State wins this game. But I've got LSU in this one. Moving on to the quarterfinals on Friday as well. Now, Going on to the next game, of course, that is Arkansas versus South Carolina. And I got South Carolina in this one. I think they're the better team here. I think that Arkansas obviously struggles at times. They, they're they not the best. They have ups. They have downs. And I think this is just one of their down years for them. But I'm going to the Gamecocks here as they are the better team and the higher seed in this one. Moving on to the next one, of course, is Ole Miss against Texas A&M. I wouldn't be shocked if Ole Miss upsets them. They've looked off and on all year again, kind of like Arkansas has. But I'm going to go with Texas A&M here to move on to the next round in this one. They're the better team. They should be. They're, they're dangerous when it comes conference tournament time. I don't know what it is, but Texas A&M is very, very dangerous when it comes to the SEC tournament and, of course, the NCAA tournament. So they're a team to keep an eye on as if they're going to make a run in this SEC tournament as well. Moving on, though, to the final quarter or final second round game on Thursday. That is Georgia versus Florida, if I have that correctly. I'm going Florida here. I think Florida's really good. They play really good defense, obviously. Georgia, not the best shooting team, in my opinion. They're really not that great of a shooter. 
They can't score the ball. They don't really like to play defense. We saw that against Auburn as they struggled times guarding the guard play within that game. And Florida's guards are not a whole lot different from Auburn's guards. So if you're going to struggle in those games, then you're not going to beat Florida. So I've got Florida in this game going on to the quarterfinals in this one. But moving on to the quarterfinals, of course, on Friday, March 19th, you got LSU versus Tennessee. If everything stands right, it will be LSU and Tennessee in the quarterfinal round or Mississippi State and Tennessee in the quarterfinal round. Regardless, though, of course, you already know I've got Tennessee. Don Connect, obviously, is the player, the SEC player of the year. You guys have not seen the award list already. Their three seniors that they have are really good. Their freshman guards that they have, too, can score the basketball as well. You're not going to stop Dalton Connect. You're not going to play really good defense on this team. Again, like I said earlier, LSU does not play that great up defensively. So with that being said, i got to go Tennessee here. They're going to score the ball. They're going to put up numbers against LSU in this one. Give me the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, Moving on to the next quarterfinal game, that is South Carolina going, or I guess you would say, against Auburn in this game. If you recall, last time we played them, we beat them by 40. I expect the exact same outcome in this game. I expect us to be on point for this game. Go to the next sem semifinal game with confidence that you can beat Tennessee. You can score the basketball. That's what I got. For this game, I expect it to be another blowout. Again, South Carolina did not guard the guard play for Auburn really well. Aiden Halloway went off. Jalen Williams went off. There are some of those players that went off, and that is why I've got Auburn in this round as well. Moving on, you got Texas A&M against Kentucky. I'm going Kentucky here. They're hot, coming off a win against Tennessee. They're going to be looking to ride that win into the SEC tournament, and they will, at least in this quarterfinal round as well. Now for the final game, that is Florida against Arkansas, or actually, scratch that, against Alabama. I've got Florida here. They beat them once. They can definitely beat them again. They played them really close at home, or on the road in Tuscaloosa is what I meant to say. But they, again, they play phenomenal guard play. Their guards are really good, and that's why I've got Florida winning this game. I think they can do it. They they shown that they can do it. They just got to translate that in the SEC tournament as well. But moving on to the first semifinal game is Tennessee at Auburn. And why the heck not? I'm going with Auburn here in this one. You got to get hot at the right time if you're Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers. I think they will. I think that they can contain Dalton Connect in this game. But, again, that's just my opinion on this one. So, I'm going with the Auburn Tigers here to go on to the SEC Conference Championship game. Moving on to the next semifinal game is Kentucky at Florida, I guess you would say. I'm going Kentucky here. They're the better team in this one. So, I've got Kentucky. And then, finally, the SEC Championship game. Auburn versus Kentucky. If I have that right, I, it could be Tennessee versus Kentucky. It could be Tennessee-Alabama. Or Alabama, Auburn, or something like that. That would be crazy to see. But if I have everything right, it's Auburn, Kentucky, and I'm going to go Auburn in this one. They've lost to them early in the year at home. They're going to be furious if this happens. They're going to be ready to play against this Kentucky Wildcat team. But that's my SEC predictions. Let me know yours in the comments down below. And, of course, that is going to be all for this video. And, obviously, we still have a lot more conference tournaments to go predict we got four more to predict by today and tomorrow but with that being said i'm gonna hop off get this edited on time so you guys can watch it on time thank you all so much for watching wednesday gonna be a bunch load of free agency talk so get ready for that on wednesday there's still more to come i'm sure at the time of recording this and at the time of posting that so that's where i'm gonna hop off thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace